So another big question I get on the glove juice is, is it any different than regular old hand sanitizer? And people started to question uh, when I first put up my review on this, is the glove juice just a, a rip-off by Under Armour it's when it's just the same product as hand sanitizer? Uh, I don't necessarily believe that. Now, one point I'll give is hand sanitizer gives you ingredients. Glove juice doesn't have any ingredients on it. It doesn't list uh, anything. It says it tells you about using this product, warnings, and its uses. It says for cleans, football grip. Now, when you look at, say, let's just talk about Germex or any, any regular old hand sanitizer, drug facts, it's going to give an active ingredient. Um, uses for hand washing to decrease bacteria on the skin recommended for repeated use so that's this is for your hands this is for football gloves now we associate football gloves with our hands but it doesn't necessarily mean that hand sanitizer is going to work the same as the glove juice will now I don't know if someone in Under Armour's you know someone around there was just messing around with some hand sanitizer and put it on football gloves one day and then realized that hey it's made the gloves grip get stickier or whatever I don't know that we don't know that for sure but whatever it is I mean this was made for football gloves and personally I don't think you know the price price difference wise now obviously there's a huge price difference between these two similarly same size bottles this was a dollar this was nine to ten so yeah, you could say there's a definite uh, difference in these, you know, with price. It's obvious. But this is for football gloves. This is for hands. It's not. It's not. It's not necessarily the same product. Now, it's going to have people say in the comments of my video, and I mean, I do test to this as well. They have similar texture and smell. But what I will say, from using the Germex on football gloves, it's a lot more runnier than the glove juice. Glove juice isn't, if you look, it's not moving around. Hand sanitizer, it's kind of liquidy because, you know, if you use hand sanitizer, when you first get it on and you rub it on your hands, it's going to quickly dry up. Glove juice is going to stay on there longer because uh, it's a little thicker. Uh, you're supposed to rub it in, you know, quite a bit more than you ever would with Germex. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a better look of how the Germex and the Under Armour Glove Juice look on the gloves and kind of show you how the texture is uh, compared to one another. So I've got the Germex here and I'll use that with the Under Armour gloves and then I've got uh, the Under Armour glove juice and I'm going to use with these uh, Nike Superbad gloves. So we'll start off with the uh, Superbad gloves and we will use the Under Armour glove juice on them. And I'm going to show you how the texture of the glove juice stays on these gloves. So just use a little bit not a lot all right so you see it there it's not moving around so we'll rub it together and get the glove juice all over the gloves try to get it all over the sticky parts of our gloves just rub it till it's pretty dry and you can't really see it on there works really good with uh, Nike gloves you know especially if you use them a whole lot I haven't used these an entire lot, but they've got enough, uh, got enough on them that we can treat them with the glove juice. So it dries on, still on there. You know, we're not going to have immediate grip or anything, but it will be on there. All right, we're going to move quickly to the Under Armour gloves. Okay, so these are the Under Armour Warp Speed gloves, if I didn't mention that. And we'll be using Germex. So I want you to watch uh, once the Germex hits the glove. And I've got my hand here at a kind of an angle. See kind of how that moves down. And what it is, is uh, it doesn't have a very thick texture like I was talking about. Germex is, is a very thin texture. Uh, you know, it moves around a lot. One thing that, that I can tell by using this, it, it cleans the gloves. Like you can, if you can kind of see, I can tell that there's dirt and grime coming off the gloves. And these gloves are a lot slicker. It's not getting any more, any more dry. They're just kind of slick right now because you know it's not it's not a surface like our, our, our like our actual palms. But uh, and, you know we just you still have to just wait. Um, 
I still don't think that this method really, you know, using Germex really isn't the best method to have just because of the, the texture of the Germex or, you know, any hand sanitizer is going to be, you know, very thin, very, you know, very moist, and it's just not, it's just not able to help clean the gloves grip. I get a little bit back, but I think that your best bet is to still go with glove there's, juice. There's a, there's a definite difference between hand sanitizer and glove juice. Now, like I said, and you know how people have pointed out, you know, they are similar, but personally, the glove juice is going to work better than hand sanitizer, because really, uh, just like how your hands are, hands get dirty, you know, from touching things, and it's just like how football gloves are, if you know that you use them, and you know, you're using them out there on the field, they'll get a little dusty, you know, they get some grime on it, they'll lose their grip, so it's just kind of like washing your hands with football gloves, essentially what the glove juice is, so, um, it's recommended for repeated use, you know, you know, I mean, your gloves are going to get, no matter what, they're eventually going to lose their grip, and glove juice is great, for getting that quick stick back, you know, if in a short period of time, you don't have to wait very long to get it back. I'm going to have to let these kind of sit for a while because they're still been treated. So that's my frequently asked questions vlog on the glove juice. If, like you said, if you have any more questions, I can try to answer them. Go back and watch my review on it if you have any other questions. And with that, that'll do it for now. So we'll see you here back next week for another frequently asked questions vlog video. I'm your reviews. See ya.